Where did you get this shirt? It's uh, Tripur. Where? Tripur, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu? people working, uh, possible work also, so good job, people happy, so every day coming work also. Mm -hmm. uh, now generation good uh, children also learning English, work also possible here, English. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to come here. I don't want to see people who are white, to be precise. I don't want to be away from Europe. And, uh, although I knew it was kind of a European culture, so I, want, I, I knew that um, Europe, I mean, Auroville was a European place, and I wasn't very curious. I was very curious about to see what's happening when I came. And then my first incident was very special because I was, we were at visitor center and we were ordering food and I found a hair in the food. Hair? Yeah. Hair in the food. And for me it was a shock because um, it's no, it's a spiritual play, everything's perfect, it's supposed to be. And I was very skeptical about it. So. When I found it, I, I freaked out because I'm from I'm a vain person. I'm a film director, so I have money, I've got power. I'm like, uh, what is happening and all that. And immediately, the waiter was very responsive. He's like, sorry, sir, I would love to call. You. I'll call the manager. Without me calling, he's like, I'll call the manager and come. He went. The manager came, and then I, by the time I cooled down, I asked the manager to sit down. I told him, see, realize that food is something very important, and there shouldn't be had. And he didn't talk anything. He allowed me to talk, he listened, he gave space for me to share. And that impressed me, because it was different. Nobody in the world would do that, to listen, because people want to tell, we are the best in the world, it's a, exp it's a mistake. No, he didn't say anything. He said, I'm sorry, how can I make it better? And I shared to him. They touched me, and then I met another waitress there, and I asked her, what is this all about? And she's like, you need to live here to know it. I firmly believe all of it is a place of cultural cultures coming together, and I believe it's like you know you know you've heard about uh, seed banks, right? Like where you have different seeds saved, and I think all of it is a cultural seed bank. So every culture should be reanimated. <laughs> Quiet place, mm -hmm. actually quiet and uh, natural. Uh, green all everywhere, green and uh, birds. Um, a good place, Auroville. No city, no difficult. In Auroville, there are 50 000 people. Now, there are 2,000 people from around 50 countries of the world. 500 of them are Hindu. I can change my life. 
life, different life, like anywhere in the world. And, uh, and also, during my life, I didn't, didn't uh, have success in anything what I did. So now I am 56 years old. And uh, so in my country, no future, nothing to do. Job market, every time they tell me, uh, go away, go away, because I am too old. Yes, the nice clear, yeah? No, clear. Some people very good vibration. Is so it? he pushed me to, to to grow up and to follow. fingers at a system and say it's wrong. Like if you see uh, Marxism, it's beautiful if you read it, it's, it gives you tears, it's, it's so beautiful. But when you apply it, it, it changes. And same thing, uh, Mother Sri Aurobindo's vision and dream was very straight and direct. But by, through the process of applying, people put their own uh, egos into it. My dream is not to be part of the consumeristic world and kind of break the system and I'm not afraid to do it because the last thing they can do is take my life and I'm willing to let go and Audible is a place where you can risk it all because everybody watches you, everybody from the international realm watches you here. So every step you do here, 
can help thousands and millions of people who are either dying or are, are, are striving to survive. The thing is, uh, if you read everything, it cannot help you. You need to stop thinking, you need to feel. And something to feel is difficult to learn because we are part of the system, education system, which basically pu puts us in this framework where we get trained to become consumers. As a child, we grow up, go to kindergarten, go to school, and then go to university to study, get a job. And then we do our job and things get such a way that you eat junk food, you get sick and then you use allopathic medicine and then you fall sick and then you get a financial institution like a bank to pay for your uh, medicines and then you're in this vicious cycle. And this vicious cycle has trained us so that the, the, the people, there are a few people basically I firmly believe from my understanding who try to control us. And those few people want us to continue being like ants, so they can be the kings and can decide where to wage war and where to increase the stocks and how they can become more powerful. So when those things are happening, it becomes very difficult to unlearn something you've been trained and programmed over centuries. So to reverse this process, you need to recreate, from my point of view, an organic agri and economy which again is based on having organic food without any GMOs and pumping all your energy into food because we are not still there where we can live on breathing and the sunlight which we should be able to but we need to recreate that in that case Oroville would become what has to become if uh, more people with this cheerful to change the world can come together. Because Auroville is not only here, it's everywhere. But this place has already given us a place to train. It's like a battleground, a training simulation. So before you enter the world uh, to change, you basically simulate everything. Here you practice, you try it out. And then you go to the world to battle. So for me, it's a training field. Because I finished my studies early when I was young and I studied a lot, uh, reading every subject I could. And now I'm trying to unlearn all what I learned. And in the process I realized this is making me more equipped to fight the system. Because anybody who studies, is thirsty and searches will know that there's only one absolute truth. And then you cannot have a killer and a victim if there is no victim and no killer.